everybody this is Amy thanks so much for stopping by today today I am going to show you how I painted my little rendition of strawberries on rocks for creating a butterfly bath water feeder however you want to describe it and I need to just paint one more rock but I wanted to kind of show you what I've got going on so far I'm going to have this unpainted rock in the middle and then the painted rocks will be on the base and then I'll just do a little bit of water where they can land on these stones and drink or bathe whatever whatever they want to do. So I have base obviously base painted all the rocks. Didn't want to show you that part that's really kind of not necessary. I am using a couple of my Donna Dewberry, uh, well actually this one is a Princeton, looks like a mini detailer, and then this is the Donna Dewberry U-Pro nail brush. And paint I'm using Fresh Foliage Licorice, Wicker White, and Thicket. And the red that I used is Cardinal Red. Alright, so basically what I'm doing, I'm using this angle brush to paint the leaves on the top. And it's just a very, very small detail just at the top. Now you can bring your leaves down further if you want. I'm not being real picky about how this is being done just for the mere fact of what I'm doing with it. So if you wonder you know, with the details and all that's why I'm really not being too picky about it. Just kind of a fun little project I've been wanting to do since last year and so I'm still working on my butterfly garden going to be going out here soon to get some more plants to plant in it. I'm going to use the little detailer here, stick it into the two different greens, and basically what I'm doing is just bringing a little swiggly thing down from the top where you would possibly have a stem, and just kind of swirling it down the side of the strawberry and then just making sure I put in some colors just to kind of make it show, stand out. Then I'm wiping this brush off. I will be going through it and just sticking just some marks. Now you can be t detailed. If you want to do smaller little marks that's fine. If you don't want to do as many as what I put on mine that's fine too. I guess that I'm not being real crazy about the design itself because it's going to sit outside the main thing is, is for it to help give the butterflies a place to come and rest, bathe and drink. And anybody else in between that wants to join them can do so too. And I am putting a lot of seeds on here, so again, you don't have to follow this. It's just my my rendition. Then I'm going to wipe the wipe the brush off and go back to my white. Now on this, if you want to be a little bit more sporadic and not put white on oops, on all the seeds, I'll be able to pick this up. Uh, obviously that's fine too. You can either just do a little dot or you can come down the, oh, actually straighter down the side. That was a little little flub up there. You know come down the side it a little bit if you want. Some are heavier handed than others. It's, it's really up to you. I'm okay with the dots. I'm okay doing doing either one. 
and maybe even just burying them from one to the other just to get a little bit of accent color. Again, you don't have to do, do the whole thing. You can put some on the left side, some on the right side. That's really your preference. Oops, I missed a couple here. And if, like I said, I did that one, I can wipe my brush back off. If I want to put a little bit more black on here, I can do that. And then come back in with a little more white. Up to you. But it's fine. You know, like I said, they're going to be in a pile like this. I'm going to probably do some spray glue in here to glue them down so that I can change the water because obviously it's probably going to have some uh, other visitors like ants that will want to come into it. But anyhow, that's just a quick little little video to show you how I'm creating this. Uh, once it's done, I'll probably give you a show outside and let you see what it looks like and give you an update. Alright, hope you like this. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and also hit the share button that you'll see underneath the video so you can share it with all your family and friends on your social network. I'd appreciate it. Alright, thanks so much, and until the next time, you have a good one.